it seems to be pointless to do an opera as passionate as Verter and not try and reach out and touch the audience. I hope the audience will be absolutely capsized by uh, this production of, of Verter because there are two absolutely great singers in singing an absolutely great score, which is incredibly emotionally expressive and, and passionate and tortured. I have worked with Jonas twice. He's very quick, very intelligent. He's an actor. He has this most magnificent voice. <laughs> was a man who turned his hand to a lot of different stories. He was imbued by the spirit of the time. So to me, I always thought, I sort of forgot Werther, forgot the, 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 the Goethe, and thought of this as a, a story of uh, the 1890s. And that's why I decided to set it there. You have to look at Werther and say, this is a chamber opera. So you have to find a way of bringing the action as close to the audience as possible, really right to the edge of the pit, and framing it. So we've got a framing device, or a series of perspective framing devices, which are designed to reduce the space and focus the space. And within those frames, we place scene after scene after scene. You can look for pale sage greens and greys and a sense of fog and mist and a sort of autumnal feel to the design. To me, doing, doing any show or film, opera or play, unless it means something in the present tense, then, then why do it? That's, that's the glory of the, the performing arts, is they exist in the present tense.